you know, I think it's important for every human that walks the earth to do some form of resistance, strength-based training, right? Again, that doesn't have to be your body. It doesn't have to be a bodybuilding split, but that's just more generally resistance-based strength training, right? Which, which goes across, um, a very wide continuum of things. Uh, I think every person that, that walks the earth can benefit and will benefit from it. And I want to just kind of highlight some of the things that it does help with. Um, if you're like on the fence of, well, is this really worth my time? Uh, and, and my answer quickly here is yes. And as I mentioned earlier, a well-rounded approach alongside building in strength-based training and aerobic training all into one plan. And more holistically, if you do enjoy Pilates or yoga, what a triple threat combination of a way to improve your health and fitness and just feel confident and empowered in your life and feel strong and and stable. So, all right, I'll just hop into these because I'm doing what I do. So improving overall health, that's the most general one, right? Lowering disease risk like cardiovascular disease, type 2 diabetes, and other cardiometabolic disorders. Strength training also helps build skeletal muscle tissue. Uh, it helps retain skeletal muscle tissue. We know those things to be true. And it reduces risk of sarcopenia, right? And osteoporosis and dynopenia right? Which loss of, of muscle and loss of strength, right? That happens. Um, and, and just overall loss of bone density, it helps mitigate those and actually helps rebuild and regenerate those things uh, across the lifespan. And, and I talk a lot about, I usually end a lot of these things with across a lifespan, right? Because a, as we all are getting older here, um, <laughs> we all realize that like, okay, we're not all in our teens and, and early twenties anymore. And it's like, okay, especially me here in this conversation, it's like, okay, <laughs> I do have some aches and pains and I do see what starts to happen if I take too long of a hiatus from the gym or paying attention to my health, I start to really feel like crap and my body hurts, my joints ache more, I feel more off balance, I feel less strong, I feel less, less resilient physically. Um, and that obviously, we, as we all see our parents' age and our grandparents' age, you can start to see, man, what a benefit it would be if, if these folks would have strength, had some sort of resistance training or holistic health approach or exercise approach in their life throughout their lifetime. Because you see, I mean, again, like I, I can see, you know, my own grandparents and, and I can see, um, you know, other folks' grandparents. And it's, it's, you know, there is a, there is a, there is a contrast to folks who have stayed really active and have been in an environment where that's been accessible to them and they've pursued it versus others who haven't, or haven't had the opportunity or haven't been in an environment where it's as accessible for them. Right. So I talk a lot about these things across a lifespan. Um, strength training helps improve muscular strength and endurance, improves cognitive function and memory and concentration, which I think is something that isn't talked about quite enough is the mental health and the brain health benefits of strength training. Strength training could positively impact the development of Alzheimer's disease, which is very near and dear to my heart as I have a lot of family members um, who have had that and have died from, from Alzheimer's related or dementia related illnesses. Um, so I, I'm doing everything in my power to, to fight against that. And, and strength training and resistance training is one of those things alongside, you know, sleeping well and, and paying attention to my nutrition and trying to relax uh, in life. Um, it helps lower risk of the severity of depression and anxiety. That was one that I, I dug up uh, when I was uh, writing Science of Strength Training was I pulled up there was some uh, meta-analysis uh, and, and systematic reviews from uh, psychology and psychiatry journals that went pretty extensively into lowering the risk of severity of, of your depression and anxiety. Um, even for pregnant folks, um, peripartum uh, anxiety and postpartum depression, uh, they found that it lowered that with uh, individuals who were strength training, right? So I know we, we work with a lot of uh, peripartum and especially postpartum individuals within physique development. So that is a, is a huge benefit to strength training as a whole. And again, overall, my last one here is, is strength training is, is an effective 
standalone exercise modality for improving health and well-being across a lifespan, right? And more so when used in conjunction with other activities like aerobically based exercise, right? And if you are an individual that you're wondering, how do I best spend my time? You know, I only have an hour three times a week because I have a million kids, um, two, but it seems like a million because they're obnoxious <laughs> or um, I just have a million responsibilities. I'm, I'm doing X, Y, and Z. I have multiple jobs, you know, and, and you're trying to figure out what is the single best modality, what is the single best bang for my buck as far as my health, my well-being, mental health, brain health, and improving the way that I look and feel, it's, it's going to be some form of resistance strength training. And if you have an opportunity to increase your activity, increase your steps, or maybe do something aerobically based in your life, that's a bonus, right? And all of these are tools that should be used in conjunction with one another as time permits in your, in your life and across your life. 